drop the game in defense of patch nearest neighbors and single image generative models. This work shows that GANs can sometimes be replaced by a simple classical approach and surprisingly achieve better results orders of magnitude faster. So what do we mean by classical approaches? These take a single input image and optimize the distance between patches nearest neighbors to build new images. They've tackled many tests such as retargeting, texture synthesis, and in-painting. Let's call these the classical tasks. Fast forward to 10 years later. Single image GANs learn the internal patch distribution of a single image and generate new images with the same patch distribution. These GANs show impressive capabilities. First, Ingen showed it can perform the classical retargeting task, but then Singen introduced the ability to randomly generate diverse images based on a single input. This gave rise to many novel tasks considered as GAN only. However, these GANs come with the price tag. They take hours to train and produce many unwanted artifacts. In this work, we recast classical patch-based approaches as single image generative models. We show that, unlike previously believed, patch-based classical approaches can tackle the GAN-only applications. Moreover, they do so with higher quality, while the runtime is reduced from hours to seconds. But how can patches nearest neighbors be used to solve such tasks? Consider the Singen architecture, a multi-scale GAN with noise injected into the coarsest level. In essence, it outputs an image with patches that belong to the input's patch distribution. But what if we drop the GAN and replace it with a simple patch nearest neighbors module? Now, the output is made of the actual input patches. Diversity is still provided by injecting noise at the coarsest level, practically making the nearest neighbor search random. We call this algorithm GPNN, Generative Patch Nearest Neighbors. But what does this PNN module actually do? Let's focus on a single scale. It takes the upscaled output from coarser level and replaces its patches with their nearest neighbors in the input. Finally, we get an output with similar structure to previous scale and similar patches to the input. But how do we find these nearest neighbors? Using L2 is suboptimal. We use a similarity score which first does not favor blurry patches. Searching directly for nearest neighbors in the sharp input image leads to mistakes. Instead, we conduct the search in an intentionally blurred version of the input. Second, it avoids loss of information. We may be unable to produce all of the patches if we use just vanilla L2. Instead, we check how well each input patch is represented in the output. This is simply done by searching for nearest neighbors in the opposite direction and then normalizing by that distance. Finally, the visual information is retained. With this modern take on classical approaches, we can generate images from a single natural input image. It is done fast and produces high quality, diverse images without any neural network in the loop. Please note the crisp output images compared with Singen. To quantify this, we conducted a user study where workers had to choose the fake image. Our output images have the same diversity as Singen, but are nearly indistinguishable from real images. This superiority holds in more metrics, datasets, and diversity levels. GPNN supports diverse tasks in the same framework. Retargeting, for example. The output keep all the visual information and are also sharp. Structural analogies is also supported in GPNN. The goal is to generate an image with the structure of one image and the visual appearance of the other. GPNN does this in a matter of seconds, compared with 8 hours of GAN training. GPNN's output images are also more reliable to the input. We also had the opportunity to ask, are GANs only elaborated machinery for nearest neighbors extraction? We started by generating an image using GPNN and SYNGAN. Then we measured the distance between generated patches and their nearest neighbor in the input. A distance histogram is presented. As expected, GPNN's output patches are essentially input patches. Interestingly, Singen also generates novel patches, which implies that the answer to our question is no. Examining the output, however, raises the question, does the task really benefit from these novel patches? We showed that good old patch-based methods, when modernly adapted, can perform tasks perceived as GAN only, with higher quality, and extremely faster. For more details, please visit us at poster 16B. Thank you.